And the end of an era for the Broncos. Pat Mullen uh, turning over the control of the beloved Denver Broncos for the first time. The team and his family acknowledging Bolin has Alzheimer's disease. Our partners at the Denver Post first to break the news early this morning. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is at Dove Valley. And Tyler, what does this mean for the team and fans? Kelly, it's certainly going to be a transition year for a lot of people, and it also means that staffers and players will answer a lot of questions this week, starting today when they report for training camp with the first practice scheduled for tomorrow. It also means a lot of social media interaction. In fact, John Elway just calling Mr. B a Hall of Fame owner. Here's how he described the mission going forward right after that Super Bowl loss in February. This organization, what Pat Bowen wants from this organization, that has not changed, and it will not change. And the bottom line is we're going to work as hard as we worked this year, if not harder, and continue to do that with the mindset is we want to be world champions. We're going to do everything we can to get there. Getting there was something Pat Bowen did an incredible six times, hoisting the AFC Champions Trophy and heading to sport's biggest stage where his teams would bring two titles back to Denver. He was known even to Hall of Famers like Shannon Sharp, Gary Zimmerman, and Floyd Little as Mr. B, an owner who earned respect throughout his organization and beyond. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell saying Pat's love of the game drove him, and we have all benefited from his passion and wisdom. The Broncos this morning stating the team will remain within the Bolin family, and the goals, as always, will revolve around victories. He's a modest, kind, humble guy, President Joe Ellis tells our partners at the Denver Post, but you will not meet a more competitive man. Now I saw what was probably a five-foot picture of Pat Bowen being driven around the complex today. They do have a media event scheduled for noon, so the timing appears to be good. These questions about what happens next should have been answered and re-answered many times over well before they get to that first preseason game August 7th against Seattle. Again, training camp officially starts tomorrow, but a lot of folks reacting today on Twitter, even players who didn't play for the Broncos, showing a lot of respect for Mr. Bowen. This is a conversation you too can get involved in by way of our 7 News mobile app.